And I'll never forget kind of, they had these swing doors, two, two sets of swing doors. And I remember opening them to go through and this wall of noise of MDC <laughs> just hitting me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and as I kind of, you know, it was a fairly big venue. I think it took about 800 or more people. Um, and as I got a bit closer, I was like, okay, there's a kind of like fat, short guy, skinhead, singing. And then it was like, there was a bunch of skinheads with Union Jack or at least skinhead or punks with Union Jacks dancing on the stage with him. And I was like, hmm, that's a bit strange. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't pay a lot of attention to NBC. I think actually, I think I was a bit over roared by the, the wall of noise back then. And I was really, you know, wanting to see the big Kennedys. And when they came on, of course, I went down the front to jump around like a nutter, whereas we used to do those. There's no stupid going around in circles like Americans, just jumping up and down and <laughs> shouting the slogans. And, you know, hey, don't knock the circle pit. Come on. <laughs> circle, circle pit. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Not long after the Kennedys started, I noticed that Jello was kind of frustrated. And not, not I knew him as Jello by then, but I knew that Jello the singer was kind of frustrated because he was having trouble with his microphone cords and his microphone cords were getting pulled at by uh-huh. members of the audience. And I was like, why would you want to mess with a band? You know, this, mm-hmm. fucking, this is an awesome band and it's great and you're obviously pissing him off. And uh, so then this persisted, you know, and you've got to bear in mind, we're talking about a lot of punks, a lot of movement, a lot of whatever. So I wasn't able to kind of, you know, I was a lot of those gigs those days. You were, you know, you had to kind of fight to stay upright and sure, sure. not fight, but you had to struggle. So, but at some point, I was like, this is ridiculous. There's, you know, these guys are pulling at this cable, and I just went smack with this kind of hand and punched this guy's hand as he was pulling uh, mm-hmm. a microphone cable, and you know, he let go and looked round at me, and I realised he was like, you know, significantly shorter than me, and he looked very surprised and quite worried, <laughs> and I was like. And I kind of probably said, well, I don't know what I said, but I kind of, you know, like, what are you kind of doing? At the end of the gig, and this is something you may or may not know, but at the end of gigs, one of the fun things is to go around trying to find out where your badges have gone. Because mm, sure. come off, yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, and if you're lucky, you'll find someone else's badge as well. And <laughs> you never know, you might find a watch or a you know, fiver or something on the floor. As I'm doing this, <laughs> I notice lots of little pieces of paper with blue and red print on saying mm. and a union jack saying you are in a british movement zone mm. okay. and they've been throwing those out at the kid at a fucking dead kennedy's gig of all places i mean the balls on them mm. yeah there was huh. probably 600 or plus punks there i can be pretty confident of saying that there wouldn't be more than 20 fascists and it's right. not like they you know identified as such we wouldn't have known that there was a there wasn't any sea guiling or anything like that like there might have been at some other gigs in london where there was a lot of them this was literally just them fucking things up fritz here This has been a highly manipulative attempt to entrap you into our Patreon page at patreon.com slash tenipod to subscribe and get the full premium episode we've teased here. Also, check out our Twitter account, also at tenipod, and follow us, subscribe, and get the latest updates as well as whatever garbage falls out of our brains. So we cool?